Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan. This is Royal Masters. So, I get the S5 Max versus the S6. And in this video, we can explain the differences. And one thing to note is the S6 actually costs more at $650 versus the S5 Max at $600. Why is the S6 $50 more? Well, I'll explain that in the video. But before we begin, I actually have the great deal on the S5 Max at $100 off. So, it's only $500 versus $600. Awesome deal. Now, behind me, I got my website. Worldmasters.com and it should be live within a week so definitely check that out the website go away they're both very similar in diameter at 15.78 inches they also have a similar height at 3.78 inches and they weigh the same at 7.78 pounds so if you have a key 9 you may notice that there's a difference in buttons on the S6 you got your spot button your giant clean button also your home button but for the S5 Max you got just a power button and home button one thing to note is if you hold down the Home button for 3 seconds, it actually goes into spot cleaning mode. And if you hold down the power button for 3 seconds, it actually shuts the little vacuum off. Very cool feature. Now you may notice that this thing has a little hump. This is where the LiDAR sensor is. But on the S6, you actually have a physical pressure sensor. So if there's low hanging furniture, it actually can detect that. But unfortunately, it does not have that on the S5 Max. Okay, can you tell which dustbin's bigger? Is it the S5 Max on the left or the S6? Actually, it's the S6 dustbin at 480 milliliters and the S5 Max dustbin at 460 milliliters. I thought the S5 Max looks bigger too because it looks wider, but if you look closely, there's actually more depth to the S6 dustbin. But what's nice is the filters are interchangeable. Did you guys know that Roblox had two S6 models? I don't know if Roblox did this on purpose, but all the expendable items like the filters, the extractors, the side brush can be interchanged across all the models that include the S4, S5, S6, S6 Pier. And of course you can interchange the cleaning tool. I really like the handy cleaning tool, great for removing the pet hair from the extractor bar. Now if you look closely at the Wi-Fi status, that little blue indicator, they're at the exact same location. So that's cool and there's also a reset button which requires a small pin to poke at. Next we're going to see which one boots up quicker. Just hold down the power button for a few seconds until you see a white light come on. So it looks like the S5 Max boot up slightly quicker. Now we'll see which one can go back to stocking station first. Positioning. Please wait. For this test, I actually physically moved the robot from its charging base. This is something that most robot vacuums can do. You can physically move them around the floor plan and they can actually relocate themselves and figure out where they are within the map. Another feature that both these robot vacuums have is the ability to physically move the charger as well. So once they complete a map, you can actually move the charger if you find that the charger is not in the ideal location. This is a great feature if you want to move around some furniture and you want to move the robots around as well. Okay, so I would say you can't go wrong with both robot vacuums. The S6 and the S5 Max are very good navigators. They navigate around furniture effortlessly. They also, they can go back to the charger really well. They also have mopping capabilities, so it's really hard pressed to figure out which one's the best. But I'll also show you a couple examples why the S6 is slightly more expensive. Uh, just from my personal experience, I actually found that the S6 is slightly quieter, but I actually researched some websites and they all say that it's about 60 decibels on its max power mode for both the S5 Max and S6. Hey guys, how's it going? So, if you have a look, the S5 Max has a smaller charger versus the Osmo Line 50 and the S5 Max. So I like the larger chargers that allow you to wrap the cable out. And one thing to note is this is a slower charge at 1.2 amps, 20 volts, versus the 1.8 amps, 20 volts on the S6. Okay, so I like the Osmo 950's charger. It's smaller, it's sleeker, also has the ability to wrap the cable out. But for the S6, it has a back cover, that white cover down there, and it allows you to clean up the setup once you have the cable wrapped around. So what do you guys think? Do you like the 950's charger or the S6 charger? 
So let's have a look at the back of the robots. You can see on the S5 Max, it's clearly larger on the right there at 290 milliliters, whereas on the S6, the water tank's 140 milliliters. You can also get the S6 Pure, Roblox's newest S6 model, which offers a 180 milliliter water tank. All right, let's have a look at the mopping modules, the S5 Max on the left. You can see it's three pieces, the mopping pad, the plastic housing, and the water tank. Okay, there's some slight variances on the S5 Max. You may notice the two empty holes, that's where the filters would have been. The official terminology called the Botanically Biometric Vascular Bundle Filter. Got that? Another unique thing is they added 11 ounces of pressure due to two spring systems. This is actually spring load, which applies 11 ounces of downward force, which is a nice touch on the S5 Max. So notice the inlet on the S6 it looks a little larger, but they're very similar in specs. 2000 Pascals. I like the location of the S5 Max, it's up a little bit higher so it doesn't scatter lightweight debris as much as on the S6. So the speakers are on the opposite ends of the robots, being the left side on the Roblox S5 Max and the right side on the S6. Last thing I want to talk about is the DK wall sensor on the Roblox. It's a great sensor because along the baseboards it only goes a few millimeters away, allowing the optimal position for the side brush which speeds up along the baseboards. As it gets in a more open area it actually slows down which doesn't scatter debris as much as on other robot vacuums. During my testings I have found that on the S5 Max the wall sensor is actually better since it's horizontally mounted versus the vertical mounted sensor on the S6. You can see in this demonstration Another thing I want to show you is the side brush where it stalls. It stalls a lot less on the S5 Max as well. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the S6. Um, one thing to note is this is really challenging for any roll-up vacuum because it has a lip. And also these uh, vertical bars are kind of spaced out. So there's no wall sensor. The robot kind of goes in between the bars. But you can see that S6 does okay at the beginning but kind of struggles towards the middle of the test. Also, the side brush stalls a lot. It only spins maybe a quarter of the time or less than that. Okay, so here's the firmware that the S6 is on. Uh, I usually get a new update every couple weeks or so. And I like that Roblox constantly adding new features and improvements to the Roblox lineup. When you choose to buy a robot vacuum, you always want to consider the company too. Do they stand behind their product? Do they provide uh, timely updates? That's something very important because these robot vacuums do have the potential to be really good. But if they don't keep their updates or softwares up to date, then it really makes or breaks the product. So if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. Help me gauge if this video is popping out if you like the Roblox series. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. I'll be getting a lot of new raw vacuums here on the channel to review. Also, I do in-depth reviews, unboxings, overviews, stress tests. You name it, I do everything. All right, let's go ahead and look at the S5 Max. It does a little bit better on its challenge. Uh, one thing to know is it only stalls once in the beginning and then after that, once it kind of gets lined up against the pillars, it actually does well keeping the side brush going. I did notice the previous firmware when I did my training runs, the extractor bar, it would actually pop up quite frequently within like 10 or so minutes of running on my carpet. But since this new update actually hasn't popped up the errors, so that's a really awesome job on Roblox end. So if you do get that main brush error, uh, you can just tell it to re-clean, but be careful if it actually is stuck. You don't want to try to force the motors to uh, try to spin. Okay, so this is just a short uh, navigation test. Both the Roblox, the S5 Max, the S6 do really well, and they do well with this simple uh, pickup challenge. This isn't really designed to see how much airflow the robot has. It's more of how well the robot can navigate this challenge. I also put a uh, keep out zone off to the right there, nor that wall. I want to see if the robot will incorporate that and honor it since there's a lot of obstacles. This is kind of testing the tracking of the robot and you can see that the S5 Max does a really good job. If I had to choose between the S5 Max or the Roblox S6, despite the Roblox S6 having that better charger, the faster charger also having the 10 mopping pads that are disposable, I think the S5 Max offers all the important features of the S6 minus maybe that pressure sensor for the lighter housing. But what's important is if you can save 100 bucks or more on the S5 Max over the S6, I think it's a better value. So get the S5 Max in my opinion, but I think it's best for you to try it out. Try any of these robot vacuums out and figure out what works best for you. Okay, let's just look at how well the robot did, just the mopping pad and also how much speeds the robot picked up. Uh, one thing to know is if you don't like the cleaning performance or if you found out it missed some spots, go ahead and just have the robot do it again. I believe the robot can do up to three times in area select. Unfortunately in room select you can't have the robot do multiple times. You just have to 
tell it to go to that same area again. So hopefully they include that in the update. You guys have a great rest of your day.